Ethel. <laughs> well, it's good to hear your shriek again. <laughs> Happy Halloween. It's <laughs> just like our Christmas, isn't it, Ethel? <laughs> what are you giving this year for trick or treat? <laughs> oh, that's cute. All day bloodsuckers. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd just heat some pennies in the frying pan and throw them to the kiddies as they come to the door. <laughs> well, how are you? Is your husband any better? Oh, that's good news for you, isn't it? How much longer do you think he's gone? Huh? Oh, that soon. Was well, there anything I can do to help? <laughs> well, say, Ethel, you've really carried his cross. Oh, mine's just fine. I was just on my way up to feed and brush him when you phone. <laughs> no, you didn't bother me, Ethel. You never. Oh, just a minute, Ethel. Bobby's teasing that little girl next door. Uh, Bobby! Uh, what are you doing to that little girl? <laughs> well, yes, Mother's proud of you, but wait till after dark. <laughs> Father. Will you come over, Ethel? Well, I was over at your house last. Wasn't I take your mother-in-law for dinner? Oh, I thought she's so good. <laughs> Ethel, I want that recipe. <laughs> All righty, so we say to the next funeral. All righty, Ethel. Keep your chin down. <laughs> Bobby, don't make so much noise to come in the house. Did you hear, Mother? You don't mind, I won't finish reading the bad seed. <laughs> Bobby, mother was only teasing. Stop choking yourself. <laughs> You're so late getting home from the office. Did you miss your train? Were you caught in the rain? No, don't bother to explain. Can I fix you a quick martini? As a matter of fact, I'll have one with you. For to tell you the truth, I've had quite a day, too. Guess who I saw today, my dear? I went in town to buy the kids a thing or two. And thought I'd stop to have a bite when I was through. I looked around for some place. Dear. And it occurred to me where I had parked the car. I'd seen a most attractive French cafe and bar. It really wasn't very far. The waiter showed me to a dark, secluded corner. And when my eyes became accustomed to the gloom, I saw two people at the bar who were so much in love that even I could spot it clear across the room. Guess who I saw today, my dear? I've never been so shocked before. I headed blindly for the door. They didn't see me passing Guess who I saw today? I saw you. D. 
Should have read 